And that now started for Kamui Kobayashi in the number seven Toyota. The Toyota that is on the pole position here at Le Mans at the moment. A 318.6 is that on the cards as he rattles it up to the Dunlop chicane. The thing that stuns me about that left-right sequence is you think, oh, they just go left and then they turn around. No, they accelerate between the left-hand apex and the right. It is a total recalibration of a layman's brain to watch an LMP1 car up there. Absolutely. The downforce that these cars have got is absolutely unreal. They're, they're on Formula 1 levels, and when you look at the lap times around Spa, somewhere like that, where you've got a direct comparison. You know, these LMP1 cars, OK, the, the, the new F1 cars this year have taken a massive leap, but these things were catching up very fast with our former 2016 Formula One cars. Peter, what's it like when you go down these longer straights? Does it feel like they take 30 seconds because your brain is running at 50 frames per second rather um, than 20? For, for me, I'm generally looking at those marker. You can see them, you see the building, I think there's a bar on the left-hand side, see the 300, 200, 100, and you've, you've got your breaking point somewhere in there and you're just focusing on that breaking point. You're not really even looking at the corner, you're just looking at the breaking point and if you're braking at, say, 150, get ready, get ready, nail the brakes, and then your eyes flick up to the corner. So you start trying to control the car, going down the gears, etc. So far, fairly clean. He's, he's passing these back markers in a tidy place. So Purple no, first sector, 31-1, no, fastest of all. And we know he's on medium tyres as well, so uh, Kobayashi is pushing on. OK, 147.4, the next sector to beat, 46. Oh, he's annihilated it. He's 1.6 seconds up at the halfway point around this circuit. The, uh, the car has done a, an 18.6. If it does a 16.8, that's doable to get the absolute track record around here, which was pole position two years ago. On medium tyres. Wow, here we go, here we go. So then rattling it through the right-hander in towards Indianapolis, 288 kilometers an hour, 165, 170 mile an hour, picks up the throttle into Arnage, painfully slow, you probably feel as if you could get out and walk through there, but now the speed yeah, starts to pile on. not quite, mean. Not, not quite, quite. <laughs> you know what I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> this well, is, no, is fully lit, you know, when you consider this is his, um, this is his first flying lap of yeah of the session of, of today and these tires are likely another purple sector for, for the, the uh sector two but I, th I think these tires are likely to come on harder in oh, the second lap clean lap still a clean lap look at it there's nobody there as he's kissing curb to curb yeah. he comes out of the quick left hander just the last little kink to go he's coming into our view in a moment a nice view up, no one up, in front he was up at the first up at the second by 1.6 seconds surely he's going to take the pole position 316.8 to beat 316.8 to beat he's going to do it He's done it! Boom. Absolute track record. Not even better than a 3.15, a 3.14.7. He has annihilated the track record by two seconds. But Yanni. Neil Yanni is on his tail, and he's done a 3.17.2. That is the fastest ever lap of Le Mans that you've just seen in front of your eyes. First flying lap. Wow. 